What's up guys, it's Ashley, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, I'm Ashley, and welcome to my channel. You should definitely subscribe and click the bell that's down below, so you can be notified every time that I come up with a new video. That was the nicest, most beautiful sounding way I've ever said it in my life. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a spring clothing haul, because it's spring, obviously, and I went shopping for clothes, if you saw my last video, which is up here. And so today I'm going to be doing a haul to show you them, a try on haul at that, so you get to see me try these on. Hopefully I have time, I have to go to school, but we're going to make this work. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I went to four, four stories, uh, so I'm going to start off with Mandy. I will put the price up here so you will see the actual price for everything, just in case I forget to mention them, or I just choose not to mention them. I got this beautiful pair of pants right here, and these are just really nice dress pants that I could probably wear. They end like this, like regular pants, and they have this cute little tie in the front. And I just find them so pretty and just so businessy and nice. If I ever have to go to any sort of formal event, this is definitely what I'm wearing because it's cute and it's business casual, so there you go. Next at Mandy, I got a bodysuit. This is very different for me because, I mean, I have bodysuits, but I don't buy them often. I got this pretty little bodysuit right here. It has so many colors that I would have to show you up close. Look at these pretty colors. It's got like a navy, a mustard yellow, and this topish brownish color, and then white. And the material is so soft. I, it's not, I don't know what this material is, but it's just so unbelievably soft and comfortable. And this, I mean, is springy, but what I plan on doing with that is I plan on layering it. So I plan on wearing like a black or a white sort of short-sleeved uh, regular finisher underneath and then putting that over it, kind of for that 90s, early 2000s feel. Next up, I bought a pair of shorts, and these are high-waisted. And I have always, let me fix it first. I have always wanted high-waisted um, shorts but I've never been able to buy them because they're always so unbelievably short that I'm just like, I'm not, I don't want to wear that. And it's just really hard to find high-waisted pants that are not too short and they're somewhat a little bit more modest. I feel like people are gonna kill me for saying modest, who cares? Um, so I got these, these cute high-waisted shorts and they're a lot longer than, you know, your typical high-waisted shorts. These end about mid-thigh, so rather than just underneath the butt, it's mid-thigh, so I prefer that. I love the color black, and I've always wanted a faded black denim like this. This is, I would call this like a mom jean type of denim short, and I absolutely love it, so I'm excited to wear that when the temperature's, you know, consistently warm. And then lastly from Mandy, I picked up this belt. This belt is really pretty. First off, it just has black and white stripes. I love me some black and white because I have black and white bands, I have black and white Converse, which you will see. So I love wearing black and white all the time with my outfits. And sometimes I'm tired of wearing the same black belt. So I thought this was a nice mix up. It's very soft material as well. Um, and I'm just so excited to wear it. It has this beautiful silver clasp in the front. I feel like this belt just has so much personality to it. Super pretty. Ditching Mandy, let's go into Cotton On. I guess the best way to describe Cotton On style is kind of hipster slash early 2000s slash hippie all wrapped up in one somehow, you know? I think out of everything, this is the most boring thing that I bought, so I'm just gonna show that first. I got this oversized mustard yellow t-shirt with this cute little pocket. I love pockets, obviously, because I can stick my phone in there or my chapstick, whatever. But I bought this oversized because I like oversized t-shirts, especially tucked into mom jeans. I can tuck this into my mom jeans, I can tuck this into the high-waisted black pants I just showed you. I can tuck it into anything, and so I like it. Plus, mustard yellow is one of my favorite colors to wear because I have mustard yellow um, bands, but also because mustard yellow looks really good on my brown skin, so that's also why too. I said also in two in the same sentence, oh boy. Then, I got this. I don't know necessarily how I'm gonna style this this year. Well, I know how I wanna style it, I just hope it works out. I haven't tried it on yet. I got this really skinny strap cropped Pop. It's so cute. It has white, uh, mustard yellow, a sky blue, and a navy on it. And it's just such a pretty little thing. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't wear it like this by itself. I'm just not into that really. Uh, no hate at all. I, I'm used to wear a lot of tank tops, but then I don't know. As I've gotten older, I don't like to show my skin because I'm weird. I like to draw out of my clothes. So, this I plan on layering as well with either 
a black short sleeve or black long sleeve shirt underneath or a white but probably black but I like to contrast color again to give it that 2000s late 90s sort of feel so yeah I got this gorgeous t-shirt which you've probably seen on my Instagram because I post this picture if you don't follow me on Instagram follow me on Instagram I'm missing out I got this awesome t-shirt it's so pretty look at the art on it like, I just really love the design on it and it says every day middle of nowhere center of everywhere um, and I don't know what that means I looked it up and it looks like a group but I don't know where the middle of nowhere center of everywhere comes from so if you do comment that down below it's pretty and I like it now on to forever 21 I can never not go to Forever 21. So the first thing I have from Forever 21 is what I'm wearing right now. It is this jacket sort of shirt type of thing. It's cropped, so it ends just where my high-waisted pants begin. And you can wear it as a shirt, so you can button this, and it'll just look a regular shirt. Or you can leave it open like a cropped jacket. I like to leave it as a cropped jacket. I think it shows my figure a lot better, and it's just pretty, so that's why I do it. Man, it is nice lighting this early in the morning. Wow. Now next to Forever 21, I went to their clearance section um, because I didn't want to buy anything full price. And their clearance section was good. Oh my gosh, it was buy one, get one free. So I got this one for free and what I'm about to show you, I purchased. Uh, I guess you call this like a forest green, a little bit of emerald type of color. These high-waisted uh, kind of flare pants. They do flare out somewhat, um, but they're more so straight than a full-on flare. So they're not like bell bottoms, but they flare out a little bit and they're so pretty and they cinch at your waist and they have these cute little buttons and I love the detail that they put into the buttons and it's just really, really pretty. And it's really comfortable and very thick material. And I really love when pants are very thick material. I just feel more secure. Finally, the last store I went to was Robert Wayne, which is this, how would I describe it? It's the shoe store that tries to sell their sneakers or shoes for a cheaper price. So rather than paying an original price, you can pay the sale price. So I got a beautiful pair of Congresses. Um, I've wanted the black and white ones for a while now. I've never had them and I get all my outfit inspirations from Pinterest and a lot of the outfits I would see would have these. And I was like, you know what? I want it because my outfit game could be stepped up a little bit higher if I had black and white Congress. So I got some. <sighs> And trying this on, I didn't even have to try it on, I know my shoe size, but when I was at the store, I tried it on anyway, and it made my feet look so small. And usually Converse make your feet look so big, but my foot actually looks small, and so I was like, oh, I like that. I'm so excited for them to get dirty, because they're going to get dirty, but they're so pretty, and I'm so excited to step up my outfits. And now that I've gotten my spring clothes, I plan on donating a lot of my old clothes, because I don't like to keep buying and then never donating. I don't want my wardrobe to get so excessively big that I have all this stuff that I don't need. Okay, so that is everything that I got for spring. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily this is a big haul. I would say it's more of a small or medium haul, but this is really the most that I've ever bought at once for me. Usually I expand it over the month, but that's all I really care to buy this year because a lot of the stuff I have, I can wear in the spring. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And if you did like the video down below, do not forget to subscribe and also click the bell down below so you can be notified every time that I come out with a new video. And if there's any affordable stores that you love shopping at, please comment them down below because I want to look at other stores besides these. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and unity. Jesus.